God knows that. This morning we are going to speak about the perpetuity of the law. Perpetuity, what is a perpetuity? That is a continuously, which is not end over of the law. By the way, you had a baptism yesterday. And I saw that you are crying. The reason you should try to remember why the reason you decide to have the new life. What was the reason? When you listen to the word of God. Isn't it? When you study, because we study, we know what is the truth. And we decide to have the baptism. Another word can lead us to the God. Is the word of God. Again, if you want to continue to have a spiritual life, you must have the words every day. I am keep on saying that to the people. If you don't read the Bible, you have no hope. Why? Because between God and you, Satan will always try to interrupt. If you don't read the Bible, you cannot keep the law of God. The reason is like this. The Satan will be overcome you sometimes and you will fall. If you do not know who is God, how, how God is good, you are failed to come to Jesus back. The Bible says the righteous is not the people who never fall. The righteous person in the Bible, according, according, according to the Bible, is the people who fall even seven times they rise again. Proverbs chapter 24, I think. Let's go to Proverbs before we start the perpetuity of the law. Proverbs is after. Chapter 24, verse 16. Proverbs is after Salmo. After Salmo. I help you. So the Bible clearly testifies the righteous is the people who rise again, even they fall. Understand? So if you would like to rise again, you need a power from the Lord. And the power every day is so when you read the Bible, when you pray sincerely, the power from the Jesus will come and help you to stand again. So always, you must decide to stand again. Don't be discouraged, because discouragement is the, the character of the Satan, not the God. When you feel sad, take out that sadness from you. Why? Because that sadness, the fearness, is not character of the God. When you have a mind, worry about the future. Take that mind away, because you decide to follow Jesus. And you must have the mind that Jesus will keep leading you in good place. The Christian life is different from others' life. We don't worry. And we must not discourage, but to stand and always say that I am the children of God and following the words of God. Every day you open the Bible. Every day, in the morning and evening. 
Every day, do not sleep before you read the Bible. Every morning, don't, don't start the work before you read the Bible. You have that Bible, then you will not fall. You will not discourage. Only keep that. Understand? Because you cannot stand alone. You must accompany with the Lord every day, every morning, and evening. Then you will not fail. Okay? Let's read it. James 1 17 says that the, about the character of the God. There's no variation or shadow of turning. Meaning to say, God never has a shadow. What is a shadow? When you are here, the shadow is at the back if the light is in front. The variation meaning to say, if the sun is moving there, the shadow is moving too, right? But the God, He doesn't have a shadow. And He doesn't have a changes. God is always the same God. The Bible says that. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Which is, we can, we can find the Hebrew 13 verse 8. It's the same word in James 1 17. God, His character has no changes. Can you read it again? God does not lie or change His mind. Yesterday, my, my daughter called me. It was about 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is like 4 a.m. there in the California. And she's telling me, Papa, you know what? When you are here, we are living very spiritual life. <laughs> because you are giving very, you know, always, a, you know, the Bible. So we try to repent and we try to live good ways. But when you go to Philippines, our spiritual life is go down, especially, especially her life. I don't read the Bible much. I don't pray much, enough. And herself is thinking that she was not that having spiritual life. I left the God. She said, after you go, I'm always leaving God far away. She feel that way, and she's uh, saying that I'm sinner now. I spoke to her. Don't believe it. That feeling, because you can leave the God, but God never leaves you. Open your Bible, Judge chapter six, verse one. Judge is after Joshua, six, verse one. Judge is a, um, after Joshua, the seventh book, I think. Judge is the seventh book from the, from the beginning, yeah. Yeah, seventh book. Six, verse one. Mm -hmm. Six, verse one. Can you read it? Oh, okay, let's check. Okay. Chapter 6, verse 1. Hey, Paul, did you find it?
remember this. Remember this first paragraph. Okay? When Israel people sin, they sin where? When? Where? In front of the God side, side of the Jewish Jehovah. The meaning to say, even they are sinning, God cannot leave them. So their God is just watching them. Just seeing his son, his daughter, make a sin. But where is the God? Just in front of them. When you sin, you will feel that you departed from far away from the God. But you cannot escape from the God. Why? Because God is unchanged person, unchanged God. His character is always there watching you. So that whenever you cry out, asking mercy from Him, He's the God who can give you the mercy and forgiveness anytime. But the Satan always lets you feel that you far away, departed from the God very long. But our Lord never leaves us. He's ready to give us the help. He's always ready to give us the forgiveness. His invitation is not changing. You must keep that in your heart. Although we feel that I was fallen, no worry. God is always be ready. He does not lie or change his mind. So as he said, I will be with you. But he never leave the people of Israel. When there's a road like a 30 miles a day, miles an hour, I mean, before they change the law to 30 to 80, they must change what? They must change their mind first. If God needs to change his law, in other words, he's changed his mind first. But it says that he doesn't change his mind. Meaning to say, God never changed his law. It's a simple. It's very simple. If God wants to change his, his law, he needs to change his mind first. But the Bible says that he never changed his mind. Can you read it? Yes. The Bible says that my covenant I will not break. And that actual covenant is talking about the Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 13. Can you read it? Yes, his commandment is his covenant. So the Bible clearly says that his covenant, he's not going to break it. And yesterday we saw it. Who changed the Sabbath? Is that the God or the man? Why? Because God never changed His mind. He never changed His commandment. You need to remember this. Why? Because in the last days, they will try to prove that through the words, the law of God has been changing. But no. Then they must break this. They must break this verse, and they must break many verses, and they must prove that. God change. If God change again, He is alone. Forever, actually. But if we change His mind, He can be God of anger. That we all gonna die in the same day. The reason we still living, although we are making many sins, is because God is still love. Can you read it? Ang mga buhat sa iyang mga kamot mao ang kamatuuran o kahustisya, kalauman sa tanan niyang mga ragda, nagpangatundan sila sa gihapon sa walay katapusan, nabuhat sila sa kamatuuran o sa katuliran. His precepts are sure. His precepts is His education, His law, and His advices, which is 
forever and ever. Forever and ever is your ad plus olam, meaning to say this is really endless. There is a reason why the David say that I will keep your commandments forever and ever. Can you open your Bible? Psalm, Psalm, chapter 119, verse 44. 44. Apple? You need a help? You found it? Okay, good. Apple, you better come here because you cannot see the screen. 11944. Hmm? You cannot see there. Is it even? Okay, can you read it together? What does it mean? Without the end. So if Lord God is not there, how can he keep the forever and ever? Isn't it? So all the Bible verses, every time you try to see the character of the law of God, the perpetuity of the law is very certain in the Bible. If law of God changes today, no adultery. Tomorrow you can adultery void it. Is that so? Do you believe that kind of God? No. We believe always the same God, the same Jesus. Can you read it? Yes, this is what the Jesus said by himself, that I did not come to destroy the law of God, but he's going to fulfill with his sacrifice about the sacrificial law. And he said, until what? Heaven and earth pass away, meaning to say even the earth and the heaven, no more now. But still there is what? The law of God. One John or one lead title will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. So what does Jesus say? Nothing, if one job, one title will not disappear from the law of God. Even the earth is no more. The God says that, Jesus is saying, the people who doesn't keep the law of God, in the kingdom of heaven, he will be called the very least. And the people who keep the law of God properly and teach that way, they will be called the great. You may can say, what about the one, how come they can go to heaven still if they, the people, these people, I think, they are the people who didn't understand about the law of God properly. But once the people can understand and they don't keep the law of God, they are destroying all the law. The Bible says this way. Can you read it? The Satan says that you keep all the commandments. You can just miss one. You know, Sabbath, it's your best day. Stay home. You can stay home, no problem. The Catholic teach you that way, isn't it? If you are hungry, or if you are tired, you can just take a rest in the house. So what I observe from the Catholic, 
there are the people who thinking that sometimes they can keep the Sabbath, sometimes they don't need to keep the Sabbath. Because sometimes they go to the cathedral, sometimes they don't go to the cathedral, no one touch for it. So they are trained. They're going to church. If I need, I go. If I don't need, I don't go. They were trained that way much. But the law of God is a perpetuity. Meaning to say, today is a Sabbath day, and I'm really tired, so I don't go to church or I don't do. And if I need, because I think this is a very important to do, all the Sabbath. And I just do the work. The law of God is a perfect treaty. And if you just miss one, the Bible says that if you fall in one commandment, you fall in all the commandments. Let's just say, we see the Rija. Rija is a very, very good person. She always keeps all the commandments, but except one. Is she a good person? She looks good person. Why? When you do not know who is she, for example, like this, she is keeping everything, all the commandments. But she may sometimes one, though she not murder. She is sometimes killing people. Is that truthful person? Is a good person? No. We cannot say that. And if one, which is the always break, is you shall not murder, then she, we cannot say that she's a good person, isn't it? Can you read? Yes. The God, the Jesus said, He actually promised to put the new covenant where? In our hearts. Since Jesus Christ died for us and resurrected and went to heaven, our body become what? The temple of God. And in us, he's going to put his law. What does it mean? He's going to put his law in our hearts. He wants us to keep it and follow it. Why the part of the heart is what? The part that desire you to move. There is a reason why we need to put his words always in our hearts. Because our hearts decide what we can do. Can you read this? What the Bible says, until Jesus come, you keep this commandment. Without any blameless, or without any spot. What does it mean? You need to keep the commandment without any any mistake. All the commandments, we need to keep it. That is the order from the Bible. This is the order from the God. And they said, but both, what of the people before the Israel? They never received the Ten Commandments. And they may be not receive the Sabbath. Do you think that? And people say that Ten Commandments was given to the Israel people, so we don't need to keep. No. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, it says that if you are believe in the Jesus Christ, you are children of Abraham. And Bible testify this way. So Abraham, who is Abraham? Israel is first or Abraham, Abraham is the first? Abraham is first. Because Abraham his son is what? Isaac. Isaac's son is what? Jacob. Jacob is the one who called Israel. So after Jacob, Jacob gave 12 sons. And the 12 sons become the Israel people. Isn't it? 
And many hundred years later, from the Abraham, about 400 years later, the Israel people coming out from the Egypt. And when they arrived in the mountain Horeb, the mountain Sinai, they received the Ten Commandments from the Lord. So, Abraham and the Israel people, when they received the Ten Commandments, it took 400 years. Isn't it? So what of the people before Abraham, before Israel people? Do you think they keep the commandments of the God? Can you read? Yes, what the Bible says that eh? Abraham also keep my commandments. He also keep my charges. He kept also my statutes and my law. I believe when we see the law of God has no changes, when we understand the commandment of God never changes, I believe the Abraham kept same commandment, and same law, and same statutes. Understand? Abraham made the altar of sacrifice and he offered even the land. We can see many in the Bible. Even the son of Adam and Eve, they made the altar of sacrifice and the Abel killed the lamb and give the sacrifice. The sacrificial law which is given to the Israel people in Leviticus or Exodus Actually, that was given to their ancestors too. Understand? The, from the Adam and Eve, the law of God never changes, but it was given to them all. But Israel people, they forgot everything. Why? Their circumstance was worshiping the idol in Egypt. And they forgot what is the law of God. So God is reminding them. Reminding the Sabbath again. Before they give, before God gave the Ten Commandment in Exodus 20, Exodus 15 is already talking about the Sabbath to keep. What does it mean? The Sabbath was exist before the Ten Commandments. Okay, can you read it? <laughs> Revelation 14 verse 12 says that here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of the God. The Sunday is not the commandments of the God. That is a doctrine of the Catholic Church. The commandments of God means that God is the one who write on with his finger on the stone. Because when he write on the name, or when he writes something on the stone, meaning to say, it must not going to change. When you fight die, you put the name there, where? On the stone. Why? The people should know who I am. Understand? So if you try to change the law, the words on the stone, meaning to say, the law of God, could be changed, but no one doing that. The reason God put His law on the stone is not going to change it. So we will see the covenant, Ark of Covenant, and we will keep the law of God all the time. Can you read it? <laughs> mm, yes. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is very simple things. The reason they said the law of God was abolished. They said the law of God changed it. Why? Because they don't want to keep the original commandments. Because they don't want to keep the law of God. Can you read this? <laughs> Is the fulfillment of the law. 
What does it mean? The reason that we cannot keep the law of God is because we don't have a law. We need to have the law. Now, how can you have the law? Love. Before you love someone, you should know about that person. Then how can you love that person and how can you know that person? With the Bible, yes. If we don't read the Bible, we will not, we will never going to learn who is a God. That's the problem. The people, they don't read the Bible, they don't know who is a God. Even this morning, I tried to read the Psalms 119, but I was finishing just a few verses. Because the thinking and reminding and understanding the words is not easy. But I don't go forward if I don't fully understand. Because if I just forward and just reading without understanding the Bible, many say I just read it, the article without understanding the Jesus. Without understanding the God, I'm just reading it. It's meaningless. So when you try to read the Bible, it doesn't matter even one verse or two verse. You must understand. If you cannot understand, you need help. And ask the Holy Spirit. Among the, the prayer I give to the Lord, Maybe that is a prayer I give most. Lord, I do not understand this. Please let me understand. Every time I need help, He gave me the answer. 100%. When we try to seek the Lord, understand the Lord, Lord always give the answer. And He, be, he is sending the helper, the Holy Spirit. So that we can understand the words of God. The reason when you open the Bible, and it's just very, very boring. It's just, the reason is like this. You don't understand much, then you keep on reading. You understand? That is the reason why it feels boring. If you want to make it very lummy, tasty, then you should understand the God. Again, I want to speak. This is again. The way we become holy, there are three ways. What was it? First, keep the Sabbath. Second, worship of God. Third, the prayer. Sure, worship is important, but the way the Bible teaches is not what? Keep the Sabbath. Second, worship God. And third, the prayer. Do not forget this. Do not forget this. Every time when you read the Bible with understanding, you are listening from the Lord. And every time you pray, you are talking to the Lord. Every time you keep the Sabbath, you come into the holiness. Do you understand? These things, three things, all the Christian must not do it without ceasing, without stopping. Understand? And God will lead your life. And put that word where? In your heart. In your heart. Remember it. Just do not know with your brain, but do it. Best way to prayer is like this. You set up the alarm, alarm, and you pray if alarm. And I, I start to pray three times a day. It was been almost two years now. Not just two years, but one, one, year, one year and eight months, I think. I start to pray, and I keep it. Even everybody there outside in the airport, in the airport, a lot of people, I still kneel down. I kneel down and I pray. I pray with tear coming down. Many people watching, but I don't care. Why? 
for the Christian, pray is still alive. I don't see the people who need them. I see the Muslim pray. But I don't see the Christian pray in the public. Something is wrong, isn't it? The Philippines is a Catholic and Christian church, Christian nation. And I don't see the people who pray, need up. And building up those experience, pray. When the time comes, when the time comes, read the Bible. These things, you put it first than anything. The Bible says that you seek for his kingdom and his righteousness. And all other things will be added unto you. Our life, who must be first? The Jesus. Who must be first? The kingdom of that we will not be fair in our life. Because we have a God knows that.